よっしゃー You know, this club, something needs to return to Dragon Ball Legends. It's missed by a lot of fans. It's missed by me. And just, yeah, it needs to come back. Ultra Space Time Summon. Now, if you're new to Dragon Ball Legends, you might not know what this is. But basically, the last Ultra Space Time Summon we got was last year in April. Ultra Space Time Summon 21 had Sparking Future Trunks, Sparking Imperfect Cell, and Extreme Perfect Cell. Now, what made this banner great is. So imagine Legends Rising but better, right? I'll tell you why this is better than Legends Rising because every time you do a multi summon, you would get 30 Z power of a new character on the banner. So if you do one multi summon, you could get 30 Z power of the new Future Trunks, Imperfect Cell, or the Extreme Perfect Cell, right? And if you did a bunch of summons, you'll get one new character to 100 Z power. And that's not the worst thing in the world because you can use Sparking Metals or Multi Z power to make them have more Z power like you pulled them normally. So that's what made Ultra Space Time Summon awesome. And also, this also made it awesome actually. You could get seven tickets, and those seven tickets, you could use it as a Sparking Guaranteed Summon, where the new characters would be around 20% to get. 20%, and the other Sparking featured characters were around 12.5%, I believe. But for a new character to be 20%, that's crazy. And you could get, you could do two of these summons because they would give、um, one of the Sparking Guaranteed seven tickets for free as a daily login bonus. Then the other ones, you kind of had to work for them by doing co op, adventures, etc. So they gave you the new characters so easily. It was amazing. On one of these banners, I spent so much Chrono Crystals on Gogeta and Janemba. I always got Janemba, I never got Gogeta. I eventually got Gogeta to 100 Z power. I used all of my Sparky Medals, all of my multi Z power, and I made him three stars. So it was like I pulled him twice, you know? And that's what made these banners great because they were very rewarding. Banners these days, like ever since the anniversary, they, they just pretty much said, you know what, screw it, we're not doing Ultra Space Time Summon anymore. That was for the second anniversary. And, you know, it, it just, it was so rewarding, these banners, because when you do summons these days, I did a bunch of multi summons on Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta, and Ultra Instinct Sign Goku banners. I did so much. And I didn't get them. I spent, you know, maybe 80,000 or 90,000 in total for trying to get Ultra Instinct Sign Goku and Gogeta. Maybe I did、uh, 40 something on Ultra Instinct Sign Goku and the same for Gogeta, but a bit more. And, you know, I didn't get anything in return. I, I start up a bunch of characters I don't really care about. And it's just, it's not rewarding. Like, you know, the thing is with this banner Ultra Space Time Summon. You would do some multi summons and it'd be rewarding because you would unlock the new character and it would be sort of easier to get them. And you might say, oh, the characters weren't that good on Ultra Space Time Summon. They were. They were. They're great benches, they're still great fighters and everything. And Imperfect Cell was used for some time and Trunks was used for some time as well. Anyway, the, look, the characters are fine, okay? The thing is that I just miss it because it was very rewarding, and with the sparking seven ticket guaranteed summon, where you, you do one, well, you can do two if you get 14, you could get the new character so easily, and it just, just sucks that the banner's gone away. It makes me feel like they got rid of Ultra Space Time banners because they noticed, hmm, crap, they're getting the characters off 100 Z power, and they can use multi Z power sparking medals. To star them up, so why would they bother spending more money and doing more summons on this? And they can just save. I feel like that's why they got rid of Ultra Space Time Summon. They became greedy because back then in Dragon Ball Legends, if you spent some money or spent some Chrono Crystals, they'd give you a new character for free, you know, and they'd make you work for it. But now they just they just don't care anymore. And, and, and then not doing an Ultra Space Time Summon, which would be number 22. Makes me feel like that they don't want to do it anymore because they're greedy and they don't want to get the new character so easily. It sucks, but yeah, it has, it's been gone for almost a year and just a few months will be a year. Hopefully, this returns. If、um, Rising Battle could return after such a long time, hopefully, Ultra Space Time Summon can return as well. Because, like I said, you feel rewarded every time you did a multi summon, you'd get the new character straight away. You know, you could get 30 Z power of the extreme characters only. That's what happened to me on the Gogeta one. I kept getting 30 Z power for Janemba and the two new extreme characters, Android 14 and 
and it took a while to get Gogeta, but I finally got into 100Z power. Anyway, the thing is, like, you know, these banners are great because they were very rewarding, and I just kind of wish they brought this back. You know, and I know you might say, oh, but you can do 5,000 Chrono Crystals and you can get the new character. They don't want to do that for Ultra Instinct Goku and things like that. And yeah, that's true. You're right. But what if they said, all right, if you spend 40,000 Chrono Crystals here, take a bit of Ultra Instinct Sign Goku or whatever. That'd be okay. But, you know, I'm not talking about Legends Limited characters anyway. Just, I just want to be rewarded for doing a bunch of multi summons because I feel like I wasted my 90,000 Chrono Crystals on Ultra Instinct Sign Goku and Gogeta Blue for nothing. I start up great characters and a lot of characters I don't care about, but most of those characters I don't even use. So it's just a shame that, you know, they don't reward you anymore. You know, they do give you Legends Exchange tickets, which is awesome. But you have to wait like eight months or nine months. I forgot how long it was for the new Legends Limited character to be there after release. So yeah, uh, I just miss Ultra Space Time Summers. Let me know if uh, you missed this banner as well. Um, yeah, just it's a great banner. I, I wish it was back, but yeah, just Dragon Ball Legends. I feel like they got rid of it because they're greedy and they don't want to reward you with a new character so easily. All right, I am going to end it here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.